So, Tarquin, tell me about the pitch that had this miraculous movie made. Well, thank you, Crispin. It is miraculous, isn't yes, it? You yes, know, yes, it, It's virtually the messiah of movies. Mm, mm. So I think we should explore how this concept came into fruition, don't you think? Yes, yes, we yes. should. Well, I went to the board with the idea, you know, and they, they seemed a little bit reticent about the idea of using child murder as a tool to, you know, kind of illustrate the danger of climate change. But that's before they knew that Curtis was involved, right? True, true, yeah. yes. You know, as soon mm. as Curtis, they realised Curtis was on board, they changed their mind. And oh, there was... Cries of genius everywhere. Yes, yeah, well, everything he touches turns to gold, doesn't it? He's, he's got the mind as touch four weddings, love actually, you know, the, he can do no wrong. You really have to admire the mise-en-scene in this piece. You'd almost believe it was a real school. You say school? I say re-education centre. Yes. The sound effects for the explosions we actually created by exploding real climate deniers in the studio. But you're forgetting, we also double-tracked it with the sound of a man fisting a jar of mayonnaise. I know, they just added so much to it, didn't it? Mm, really made the piece for me. You can almost feel the propaganda through it. I can taste the authenticity. It's incredible. Breathtaking. For the location for the next scene, we, we, we racked our brains and we thought, what else do commoners do that don't understand? Well, we came up with... Idiots work in offices. It's true, yes. It's true, yes, I've seen them. They work for the man. I'd just like to interject here that Roger, the cameraman, was again wearing the most beautifully woven Aaron sweater. Mm, double gauge, wasn't it? You can tell a man's eco-awareness by the weave of his sweater. It's so good. It, it's, it's doing so much to fight climate change even by itself. It's what Sting wears, isn't it? I believe it is. Nobody cares more than Sting. So, uh, Tarquin, tell, t just, just out of interest, tell me what your stance is on people who deny this climate change. Well, if I had my way, I, I'd kill them all, Tarquin. My family have been doing it for generations. I'd probably gas them if it hadn't gone down so badly first time round. Excellent. For part three, we thought we needed a really loathsome character. And who did you decide to go with? A Frenchman, because everybody hates the French. And of course, everyone knows every French person is a denier. Absolutely. I've heard that they burn a barrel of oil at every dinner time just to spite us. Also, we use the concept of having footballers because, you know, the general oinks who don't believe in climate change relate to footballers. Yes, yes. I once stood in a terrace, dirty place. I saw a rather large man drinking out of a plastic cup and I said, Excuse me, sir, I do believe that if you want to save the environment, you should be using a paper cup. He called me a wanker. Did you use your red button on him, Tarquin? Oh, I red buttoned the hell out of him. Right, lads. Let's do some penalties. I find that statistics are very powerful, especially when um, presented in a colourful font. It's amazing. Melanie worked very hard on that. She's, she's an absolute genius. Oh, it was gorgeous. The way they leap out of the screen at you. Do you think we overused the term genius? Not at all. Should we use it again? We work in a field of geniuses. We do. Yes. Say it one more time. It's genius. Is that okay? This has got Curtis's stamp written all over it. It's a punchline. A, a gag in the truest sense of the word. Well, she wants to believe. On screen, but off screen, she's a bitch. The delicious irony of saying no pressure, when really there was pressure. I'm sure Curtis will be doing a Nobel Peace Prize after this. If he doesn't, we'll bomb the fuck out of them. Tarquin, I do love this, uh, the, the, the last end shot. So do I, Tarquin. It's so poignant. I like the gore. Where, where, where did you get the blood from? Actually, the gore was on loan from the Al Gore collection. He has a dungeon full of deniers. And he kills them and provides you with the blood? Absolutely. Women, children, the lot. I heard once he killed a dog that was sitting in an SUV. Gotta hand it to Al. He's down for the cause.